Greetings, it's February 2024, and here are some details for the Patreon releases and news for One Page Rules. On this channel, at least for now, I like to focus on people who are just starting out on Wargaming. So uh, with this video, I know there's more details with the uh, Patreon releases for the larger Rank and Flank games, but I'm going to mostly more focus on the Skirmish and uh, the Firefire games for uh, One Page Rules. If you are a Tier 2 subscriber of One Page Rules Patreon, you should receive 3D print files for new units for both the Vampiric Undead and the Dwarf Guilds. Starting with the fantasy genre, let's talk about the new Vampiric Undead releases for Age of Fantasy. When we focus down to the core units, the Stitch Zombies have been added, and also the uh, Giant Bats. Zooming in on the Zombies, in a skirmish game, you're going to have 3 at 25 points for just one unit and 10 at 80 points in the larger game. With a quality of 5 plus and a defense of 6 plus, if you look at their weapons in a skirmish game, that's 3 times A2, so that's 6 dice altogether, that's, that's pretty good. In the bigger Age of Fantasy game where you use more bottles, uh, you get 10 attacks at A2, so that's 20 dice altogether. That, that's crazy. Hopefully out of 20 dice you get a couple of 5 pluses out of that. I feel like that makes the zombies a bit dangerous. Let's, uh, let's roll some dice and test that. Okay, so out of five rolls, with 20 dice, I got 37 successful hits, so that's, that's pretty crazy. Um, they have no AP for their weapons. And as far as special rules, they have slow and undead, so, so that's pretty common for the, uh, the vampiric undead. Moving on to the giant bats, you get a single unit for 50 points in the skirmish game, and three at 4-1 unit at 155 points in the standard Age of Fantasy battle. They have a quality of 4 plus and a defense of 5 plus. The weapons is Deadly Fangs with an A3 attack, so 3 dice in a skirmish game. Also, no armor piercing. Deadly Fangs have a special a reap, which means if your opponent rolls a defensive roll against your attack, every time you roll a 1, you take one more additional damage. So not only is it embarrassing to roll a 1, it also kind of hurts. There are three new models that I put in the hero slash random list. The Corpse Master, a commander, and a lord on his seed. If you are confused and you cannot find a lord on his seed on the army list in the Army Forge website or app, uh, just click on a hero like the Vampire Master and then scroll down at the bottom of the upgrades and you'll find uh, seed options there. Pretty much any time that you have a model with a name or weapon that you can't find originally in the Army Forge, just kind of click around on the upgrade options and uh, most of the time you can find it. As far as the bigger models like the uh, vehicles and monsters, uh, they didn't release anything this time, so uh, maybe next time. Okay, so now we're going to switch from fantasy over to sci-fi and look at the dwarf guilds from Grimdark Future. As far as the core units, snipers and veterans have been added to the list. So that completes the core unit section, so that has everything you'll need to play a small firefight game. Zooming in on the snipers, a single unit is 1 for 35 points in a firefight, and three in one unit for 145 points for a standard Grimdark Future Battle. They have two weapons, starting with the Close Combat or CCWs. Uh, the melee weapon has no range for the A1 for a single dice attack. The uh, CCWs have no armor piercing, and they have no special effects. Weapon two is the Sniper Rifle. Uh, with a 30 inch range, you can almost shoot across a four foot board in a firefight skirmish game, so that's pretty crazy. Also an A1 for a single dice attack per model, and an armor piercing of 1. The special effect for Sniper allows you to enhance your combat quality from 4 plus to 2 plus, so that's pretty cool. Special rules for the Sniper include Scout, Slow, which is common for Dwarves, um, Stealth, which forces an enemy to put minus 1 to their combat roll when attacking them as long as the units are 9 inches apart from each other. Moving over to the Iron Veterans, you can have uh, one model for a unit for uh, 20 points in a firefight, 
and five in one unit for 100 points in a standard Grimdark future battle. I feel like that's pretty cheap and pretty awesome for what they are. With a quality of 3 plus and a defense of 3 plus, they can carry two weapons. Starting with close combat, they have CCWs. Uh, the CCWs have an A1 for a single dice attack with no armor piercing, and the CCWs have no special effects. Weapon 2 is the iron shotgun with a 6 inch range, which seems about right for a shotgun. A2 for a 2 dice attack in a firefight, and 10 dice attack in a larger game. On top of that, the armor piercing of 2, so that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty tough. Personally, I like these guys. Uh, as far as uh, special rules, uh, they include slow. As far as the larger vehicles slash artillery uh, category, they've added the uh, Fortress Tank, which completes the, that list. It is the second most expensive unit, so to put it on the field is uh, 640 points. It has a quality of 4 plus and a fantastic defense of 2 plus. The Fortress uh, Tank has three weapons, which if you add up all the attacks, it's uh, 15 dice at once, so that's pretty crazy. In the Heroes slash Random category, uh, they have one new model and it is the Guild Lord, so uh, check that out on the uh, Heroes list. Moving down to the Tier 1 2D rewards, the Ratman 2D print set uh, number 5 have been released plus terrain for Age of Fantasy and the Blessed Sister print set number three for Grimdark Future has been released. Uh, so a couple other print extras have been added, like uh, eight more game missions, so that's pretty cool. And uh, of course the Age of Fantasy quest is still in beta. Plus all Patreons get two more short stories that have been added for a uh, four short stories uh, total. I've been reading the one that's called Jackpot, and it's pretty cool. Uh, at the end of the uh, short stories there's uh, game missions that kind of go along and put you in the environment so that is pretty neat. Moving over to January updates. The Duchess of Vinci and the Saurian models have had a few updates and additions to their armies. They both get new flag standard models and the Vinci get uh, new models that have little buddies attached to them so they're like cool little animals that are attached to the main models. Um, the Vinci also get updated weapons that are kind of bigger and beefier so they 3D print better than the older models. All of the One Page Rules rule books have been updated to versions 3.2, so check all your armies for balance updates just to be sure. And one of the bigger changes is how morale test works, so uh, check that out. Now's a good time to get into Wargaming because all of uh, One Page Rules uh, 2D prints are now free, so this is a great and easy time to get into Wargaming. There's a new 3D print welcome pack this month. Uh, this includes uh, the Wormhole Plague Demons, with that, you get a champion, furies, and swarms. And you also get some blessed sisters. With that, you get a witch, the flagellants, and fanatics. The welcome pack is pretty cool and it allows you to play around for 3D printing. But if you're totally new to war page rules or just war game and all the general, uh, it's uh, kind of like a better option if you go to warpagerules.com and the first thing you see is the get a free starter set uh, button on the main page. Uh, click on that. From there, you can download both 2D and 3D print files with starter missions and rules that help you learn the game. OPR just updated this section, so you can pick a starter set from both a fantasy and sci-fi genre, so you can kind of pick something you want and go with it, and you pretty much learn how to play the game from that. The cool thing is that if you're working with 2D minis, uh, after you learn the game with those starter packs, you can go back to those uh, 2D files that I talked about earlier, and you can complete your army, so that's a pretty cool time to uh, start learning how to play the game. So that concludes the February One Page Rules release and news update. For February, that was the last release of the uh, Dwarf Guild, so that whole army should be complete. And uh, next month they should be releasing the High Elf Fleet, so I'm pretty uh, excited for that. The uh, Dwarf Guilds is a pretty great army to start with. Uh, they're slow, but they pack a lot of power. Uh, they're nice and beefy, so they're easy to print. Like, I got a couple of these models here. Um, I really like this... Um, biker model it just kind of the uh, sister or dwarf guilds have like beards and stuff that just kind of remind me of like harley davidson riders and uh, i grew up around like bikes and harley davidson's and stuff with my family and everything so because of that i have been uh, inspired to get some orange paint uh speed paint so we'll, we'll see where that adventure takes me all right so if everybody could give this video a thumbs up that would be really helpful and supportive for this channel um 
You can also subscribe to this channel if you're interested in One Page Rules uh, Patreon updates. So um, they're going to start releasing the High Elf Fleet models uh, coming out uh, next month. So I'm pretty excited about those. I think they look pretty wicked. Uh, I'm looking forward to maybe doing some battle reports with them as they come out. So that's going to be pretty awesome. Um, everybody be good to each other.